This year, more than ever, it's important that countries learn from the innovation that is happening here in China as they look at rebuilding their economies in this post-COVID atmosphere in a green manner. All over the world, countries are looking at the experiments that are happening in China around green finance, fintech and sustainability, conservation of wetlands and national parks, and even pricing of natural resources to see if there are lessons that can be learned. The Paulson Prize for Sustainability is awarded annually to a project in China that provides an innovative, scalable, market-based solution at the intersection of economics and the environment. We're very proud of the fact that many of our previous prize winners have been used as examples in other countries. Green production and lifestyle, steady reduction in carbon emissions after peaking, and fundamental improvement in ecology are listed as important goals. In order to meet the urgent challenges of climate change and declining biodiversity, we need to use nature-based solutions and innovative mechanisms. China is faced with green development opportunity. The world is coming to the consensus. We see that China and the United States are showing greater space for cooperation which is very encouraging. We need to understand that we are in this together. Uh, we are all on the same boat. We want to achieve carbon neutrality, carbon peak, and green development. With such a great platform, we can promote the best practices in green innovation and nature conservation. And these achievements can inspire others, I'm sure of it.